So Messino saw the Zips as a liability versus a uh, an asset, if you will. Yeah, there was no more Sicilians up in uh, – there was no more Zips in the captain position when he was up there. All right. Previous interview, you said to be around Barty Baloma, which was not a lot about. Right. And – Remember, I'm still out in the streets. I gotta be careful. Okay, uh, okay. Just be careful. Listen, it wasn't. Uh, wasn't well, well, it a criminal act? <laughs> but all these people, it wasn't in a criminal. Like, no, not at all. He came up to me while we were in jail, and he said, "Frank, you Italian." Obviously, he knew I was coming out of the cold defendant meetings with all everybody else. Yeah. I was the only one that wasn't made yeah. in those meetings. Yeah. So, so somebody must have told him I'm Sicilian. Yeah. So he goes to me. I said, "Yeah, I'm Sicilian." He goes, "No shit. So am I." I said, wait. You got into it with like Nadu or somebody arguing about his birthplace. It was a, yeah. Well, this is what happened. Yeah, I said, well, so am I. No, this was friendly. It was all good. It yeah. was not. No, this no, is how I was in his presence. I yeah. was in criminal. Yeah. And, and he goes, yeah. I goes, I was born there too. I go, where were you born? He said, Corleone. And he goes, where are you from? Because Stella Monica. He's from Corleone. Yeah. How I propose. Yeah. So you learn something <laughs> new every day. So, um, but that was it. It wasn't like you know we scored on something. He was one of the nicest guys I ever met. So real family guy. Every time his family was there, he did his family thing. He wasn't, you know, I you know how was he treated in jail? Good. He was, did his own thing. He had junk. You could tell he was really into his legal work, always by the smart, yeah. smart guy. Okay. Yeah, he was that college educator, I believe, right? I don't know, but he's a smart guy. I always thought of him to be like the Italian American type, so yeah. you know, this and that from the Bronx. When yeah. he talked with the side of his mouth. No, far from it. All right, now I gotta ask this. So there was your Bonnie Baloma question. So toughest gangster with their hands. Would you take a Bronx guy, a Brooklyn guy, or a Queens guy? Who'd you take? Brooklyn, all that. <laughs> and over, I'm from Queens. Over Bronx, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, those kids could fight in Brooklyn. So I, I remember on the old show They could fight. Brooklyn guys could fight. I remember on the old show, Panisi made a comment about Queens over Bronx, and to this day I still get shit like text yeah. me. So I'm like, I didn't say it, bro. I, you know, Queens is tough too, but I give the respect. And, and, and let's say, we're talking about Bronx. We got Bushwick over there too. Yeah. I've seen some of the best fighters, the Puerto Rican fighters in Bushwick. Yeah. And uh, some blacks in uh, Bedford style. So, you know, you know, it's from there Tyson, Frank Greenland. That's right. So, Brooklyn got the best fighters. So, there were rumors that Salvatale was a former cop, or did people just ignore it? It was a huge red flag, according to Sean. There Newman. was a rule. He, he was a correction officer. Was there rumors? To my knowledge, no. He would have been dead. It, it, that was, was gonna, so boom, I, you know, yeah. I was told this from from a you know former made guy that you were not supposed to make anybody with a badge, including the fireman, including what's his name, um, uh, uh, Peter, uh, Peter, uh, Peter Gotti. He was a sanitation worker, right? And a sanitation they worker, have you get a badge allegedly. You get a badge for throwing out garbage. I, I just listen. Good job. I'm just, I'm just telling you what I was told. So <laughs> I'm like the 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 podcast here. Well, I didn't know that. But look, listen, listen. The rules of the mob, even with the Sicilians around, and the rules now are totally different. Yeah. Like all these mob tubers that go on to that's a rap move. <laughs> yeah. If you're in the mob and you're talking about anything mafia, you could get killed. Really. Yeah, they sure. didn't want you yeah, to keep your name out of my mouth. Name bad That's or true. good. That's true. Good point. Good you know, point. there's one guy that claims he's a made guy and he goes around doing a block. So I, I don't want to start that one up with him again. He's just a freaking idiot. He's a made guy, but that, he doesn't want to tell people who he is. But he talks about active shit and stuff like that. I, I hope they find you. I know who he is. I'm not touching that with a 10 foot pole. Yeah. All right. Uh, corrections officer still a cop. Anyone who swears an oath so get set. All right. The other thing is, um, I was told like kind of the Gotti era was we don't take pleas, right? Sure. And I was actually talking to an older Alicute, whatever. Yeah, Alicute. Well, that's a different level. Yeah. Um, and I was talking to an old Sicilian guy, and I'm not going to obviously name his name. <clears throat> and I said, "Hey, why is why our deal is not okay? I guess the Sicilian idea is." If you meet with law enforcement at any point behind closed doors, not you know, obviously in the courtroom, right. like that, that is considered a rap move, or it's yeah. considered. Was that the reason why you think Gotti might have said no deals? Do you well, you see, yes, but you see how they even when you start taking the pleas, all right, you see how the government writes up these uh pleas these days. Yeah, they're like, okay, do, they're like, and do you uh say that you were a member this, and are you aware there's an underboss, are you aware there's a, you know, they they they. They're adding more to that, those yeah. pleas. Yeah. Or jamming up other people. Why they're doing it. Yeah, yeah, because they said, screw it. He doesn't want to do 20. We'll get, get him three years. Now, this is weird. Is the 
guy on Jordan Harbinger's show, a real mafia guy. I don't know that show. Jordan Harbinger. He wants to be. Yeah. <laughs> what What do you? Uh... <laughs> Who the fuck is that? So I gotta add, you're my. He's my guy, and uh, we have a little cigars, a little bit of uh, wine, um, hanging out, enjoying each other's company. But what do you do?